Hi there beautiful Thrivers! Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new to my channel or new to the cash envelope system, this video might be very helpful for you. I'm going to walk through all of my envelopes and my binders, explain my thought process behind why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it, and maybe you guys can get a little bit of inspiration and pointers for your own budgeting journeys. So thank you for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. It's October, so you know I had to pull out my spiders and get a little decoration going on up here, which it's my favorite month, so I just love these types of things. It just, mm, yes, mm hmm. And then I will, this will probably be the last video you see with these nails on. I will be changing them over to the other set of nails. If you didn't see that video, I did do some nails with you guys at the end of my WTF Wednesday video last week and you guys saw what my new set is going to be so the next time you see me I will have that set on these things are just hanging on I mean it's been what maybe three weeks <laughs> the growth has definitely happened but the glue is sticking on great so yeah I'm probably gonna have to take these off myself um, so the next time, the next video, I guess on Wednesday, you will see me in those new sets of nails, but we're just hanging on for dear life with these one last time. So anyways, thank you guys for joining me on this video. I decided, you know, it has been maybe over a year since I did a walkthrough of my binder and envelopes. Um, and a lot has changed in that time. I have added quite a bit more since then and so I thought it might be a good idea especially because like just in the last three months we've had about 360 new subscribers so I think that it might be wise just to kind of give you guys a walkthrough of all of my envelopes all of my binders maybe explain them a little bit further um, I know there's a lot of questions and comments sometimes about what this is for what that is for um, so this is this video is for you. I know that um, I did have a subscriber ask me if I could do this So I thought this was a good idea and I'm bringing that to you now So I'm gonna try and make this as easy as possible just to walk through just to show you what I have and Explain how I'm making it work for me. Of course you guys can do it differently You don't need this many binders this many envelopes for me and my brain, I operate better with more organization. And so this is organizing money very tediously. And it's really helpful for me because I know I can go to this envelope or that envelope for a specific thing. But at least this might help you guys get some ideas or inspiration for your own and, you know, make it work for you. With that said, let me just go ahead and put this out there. I have 10 binders in total and um, nine of those are just for our needs and wants and everything and then one of those is for savings challenges I then have two additional binders one that I'm working on I haven't worked on it recently but it is for my teenage daughter because I am getting her started in this process of learning how to save money save for specific things and really teach her now how to be smart with her money and investments later. The other one I have is my vacation binder, which you may or may not have seen towards the end of September and the beginning of September when I was getting it ready for our vacation. So that one is only used when we go on vacation. But our main ones are binders one through nine and then my savings challenge binder. But I'll show you all of them today. So without delay, Let's get started. My first binder, my revolving binder, I go through this binder more than any other binder ever <laughs> because it is revolving. It is our living expenses. It is the things that I use the most. For me, revolving means I'm always constantly putting money in, taking money out. So it's just constantly revolving with cash. 
But these are basically our cash envelopes. This is what we spend. I put it in here so I don't have to keep it all in my wallet. I don't really want to go out in public and carry that with me all the time. So I just keep it in here, take it out when I know I'm going somewhere, and keep it home where it's safe and sound. So the first one I have in here is my groceries. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody needs groceries. Everybody needs food to eat. So groceries is my first one. By the way, before we get full into that, let me just go ahead and tell you that all of these designs that you see on these envelopes, I drew, hand drew by myself. I have an entire playlist on my channel showing how I did it. I do it with you guys as a way to release a little bit of my artistic side in my YouTube channel, which is, you know, this is something I like to do. So all of these are hand designed and yeah, it's been a struggle with just trying not to have these transfer, but I think I figured out a system that allows me to be able to do this without it transferring to the backside of another one. So anyway, first up is our groceries. Um, this is self-explanatory. You gotta save for groceries. So every paycheck, I just put some in here for groceries for the next two weeks. Then I have dining out, which I very rarely fill um, because we have done a really good job of curbing our dining out, although lately not so much, but I've been using grocery money to do that. <laughs> But um, dining out whenever I know like an event is coming up or I know that we're going out to eat, I can save money for it. My pets, also self-explanatory. Um, I have four dogs and a chicken and a bird. The bird is my daughter's pet. One of the dogs is my other daughter's pet. The three other dogs are mine and then a chicken. He's the only one that's managed to live through many 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 years and I'm talking he's really really old I don't know how he is still alive but he's my rooster and he's still trucking so my pet covers all of their food um, toys anything that we might need or want for them that is their envelope extra toiletries pretty self-explanatory but I like to put a little bit of money squirrel a little money away um, just outside of my groceries. Usually I buy toiletries with my grocery money, um, but there's occasions where we might have run out of toilet paper or body soap, shampoo throughout the two weeks that I didn't buy with the full bulk of grocery money. And so I might need a little extra there. And so I like this envelope because it is come in clutch. I have two girls and if you're a female, you know what that means. And sometimes those things are not predictable, especially if I'm not tracking theirs. <laughs> if you know, you know. So sometimes I just need a little extra something here so that I can grab it and go get what they need. Peach Pass. This is the one I get the most questions about. What is Peach Pass? So I live in Georgia and in Georgia we have these, we have really, really large um, highways. We're talking 15, 16 lane highways. And right in the middle they put express lanes and they are um, only for people who are willing to pay for it so that you can bypass a lot of the traffic. My husband travels quite a bit for his job, and I mean quite a bit, that this makes so much sense for him to bypass a lot of the traffic, especially within the city. Um, so he can just travel in those middle lanes and, and get to where he needs to go. And it's basically a pay per, per mile. We put $20 on it, and then once that $20 gets low, it automatically pulls another 20 to put on it and so on. So he pays a certain amount of cents per mile that he's on that road and then they just take it out of that. So that's what Peach Pass is for us. Then I have miscellaneous. I think everybody needs a miscellaneous. It's basically like a little buffer um, if you've spent too much in any of these other envelopes and you need just a little extra something, that's where miscellaneous comes in. 
Back to the bank, this is what I use for my WTF Wednesdays. I still haven't made the deposit from last week, which I need to. I, I don't know. I think I'm okay. I might just hold on to it and then make one big deposit after next Wednesdays or repurpose the money when we get paid on Friday. Either way, I use this envelope for my back to the bank. And when I go to the bank, I just take this out, take it with me, and then make my deposit. So you only usually see this when, on Wednesdays when I'm putting the money in there. And then rollover, I like to put some money on, from when we have bigger checks, I put some money away when I know a smaller check is coming so that I have a little extra bump on those smaller checks that I wouldn't have had otherwise. So you'll see me sometimes use this, not always though. And that'll be it. At the back of each of these, I do have some trackers, which is what I use to track what's in my envelopes. But I put this here so that it doesn't transfer to the back. So let's go on to the next binder. My short-term binder. This is much like the cash envelopes of the revolving binder. These get used a lot more often than any of the other ones, um, excluding revolving, of course, but um, they do require usually a little bit more saving than revolving does. So you have self-care. Inside of my self-care, I also have tabs that I've made. So it just kind of further breaks down my envelope to a little bit more um, detail. So I have haircuts because my husband and my son, they get their hair cut by other people. I cut my hair and my daughter's hair. Then we have hair color. That's another thing that I do myself with me and my daughters. We love playing around with our hair, so we do that. And then I have nails, of course. Sometimes you gotta buy nail stuff. And then pamper. So these are the tabs I have in here, and I just use that to separate out the money and be a little bit more concise about what I'm putting in self-care. Then you have home. This is stuff that I use like for cleaning. I don't buy this very much because if you buy a cleaning product, it's going to last quite a bit. But there's times where I need some extra cleaning products, and this is where this comes in for me. So it's usually like cleaning or filters, like for the air conditioner, or just general upkeep of the house that I don't want to have to pull for my grocery budget for. So this comes in very handy when it's needed. For gifts, that's pretty self-explanatory. These are, this doesn't include my husband or my children or myself, any of our gifts, but this includes outside family members or um, friends. So any purpose that we would need to buy a gift, this comes in pretty handy. Then we have clothing, of course, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Clothing for my kids, myself, my hubby, you name it. This is clothing for, for us. Then we have family fun. I like to take all of the family together out sometimes. Um, usually it's to the movies. So once I have this saved up enough to actually do a movie date with my family, then we'll go and see a movie. Or whatever else. There's There's a lot of different things that we could do, but I think movies seems to be like a fan favorite of my family. So... That's just making a point to save for some family fun with my family. Then we have Amazon. <sighs> I know this seems like a pointless envelope, but it is so not. I love Amazon. I browse through Amazon. I buy a lot of stuff off of Amazon. Like all of this that you see, Amazon, literally everything. I've bought this, I've bought my Cricut stuff, I've bought the markers that I use for these, I've bought the envelopes, like the cardstock that is inside of these, I everything, Amazon. So I decided I wanted to have a envelope specifically for Amazon so that if I just, you know, got a wild hair and saw something I wanted, I have a little extra money squirreled away and I can get it and not feel bad. Then we have date night. That, of course, is for me and my hubby. So if we ever want to go on a date or if I have this filled up enough to go on a date, that's where this comes from. 
And then gaming, my husband and I, we like to play a game together and um, it's fun. So without feeling guilty, we sometimes want to buy things on our games and I figured it's best to have an envelope there just in case we want to buy something and not feel guilty that we're pulling it from some other place that we probably shouldn't have pulled it from. So if I have cash here, neither one of us feel guilty about spending a little something on our game. And then mental health, mental health matters, and it does. This is for specifically my daughters. I have them, they're teenagers, I have them in some Christian counseling through our church. And every week I take one of them, so they swap weeks. So one Tuesday is my middle child, the next Tuesday is my youngest, and then so on. So they swap weeks, so they basically have an appointment every other week, but for me it's every week. And so I need to definitely pull from that. And what we do is my hubby and I get spending money out of every paycheck that we get. And we have decided that what we will do is sacrifice some of our spending money to fund this bill. So we take turns too. So every other week I am giving $130 towards mental health. And then every other week for him... He's giving 130 of his spending money towards mental health. So we just take turns and fund this for our children until they feel like they don't need it anymore. But they're teenagers. And so in this world, you know, things are confusing. There's so much, so much information out there that can just wreck a child's mind. And I, we are homeschoolers. And, and it's happening to my children. So I can't imagine um, how difficult it is for teenagers out there who are out there in the world and with all of the confusion from their peers, from the internet, from uh, these groups, you know, it just, it saddens me. So I have put them into mental health therapy, somebody to talk to that's not their parents to help them know their own mind without being influenced by the outside world so that they can know what they're dealing with and how to cope. With that said, that is the end of this binder. So again, at the end, I do have all of these trackers that I use just to keep track of what is in each envelope and what we spent out of them. Next up is long term. These are things that take a little bit more time to save for. Um, it's basically just long term savings that I want to um, save up for, like vacation. So vacation for us happens about once a year. So it's going to take a full year to save up for the next vacation. So I have an envelope specifically for that. We also have road trips. I like to go ahead and continuously fund this because we have family that lives three plus hours away. We have um, different things that we want to go see and do um, that would require a mini road trip. And so it's good to just have money here so that we can cover and fund the extra cost of the gas and maybe eating out as we're going up. And so that way we just have that there and it's not an unexpected expense um, that we weren't expecting and would have to pull out of our normal um, grocery or gas budget. I don't want that. So I figure it's just smart to go ahead and just start funding this up so that if that occasion arises, we have that to lean on. School supplies, pretty self-explanatory. I only have two in school. My son has already graduated, so my girls are still doing school. They are homeschooled, like I said, but they still need supplies. They need notebooks, pens, markers, highlighters, all of that. So this is good for that. My middle child should be graduating here very soon, and I'm very happy about that. And then I'll just have my youngest in school. Yeah. One day this might not be an envelope. That makes me kind of sad. Next up is electronics. This one I probably should focus a little bit more on. Um, just right now it is the charger fund. As you can see in my drawing, 
the charger fund. Um, because we go through chargers like crazy, but eventually I would like to use this as an envelope to save up for a new phone. So my husband just got a new phone and it upped our Verizon bill by like almost $100 a month. And um, I don't want that. So if I get a new phone anytime soon, I would love to be able to just pay for it outright. But I would need to save for it. But for right now, my phone is fine, so I don't really need it. But... You just never know when something breaks down on you. Then we have home renovations. That's pretty self-explanatory. This is for when I'm actually doing renovating. So any painting, any changes that I'm making to my house to make it better, that is what this is for. And that's it for this binder. And again, I have all of the trackers for these specific envelopes in the back of this binder. Next up is holidays. I used to have Christmas in the um, long-term savings, but it was just getting way too thick, so I decided I'm just going to break this up because there were other different types of holiday things I could put in here. So I went ahead and made an envelope that's for all the other holidays outside of Christmas. So you have Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, 4th of July, Easter, and Halloween. And then inside I have tabs that correspond to all of those specific holidays I just mentioned so I can save up for those things. Then I have hubby. This used to be in another envelope but with these kind of envelopes they really do, especially with this, they get really thick and there's only so many you can put in here without them like just bending them and making them look awful and I don't like that. So I figured I would put this in holidays because inside it is for Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthday, and just spoiling him. Um, so I figured I would put hubby and wifey in here. So again, it's Father's Day and Mother's Day, both of our birthdays, and then just a little extra tab in there for spoiling. And then, of course, we have our Christmas envelope. I save a lot of money for Christmas. There's five of us, but then there's also, I have a very large family outside of that. So there's a lot to save up for. So it needed its own envelope, and that's why it has it. And then again, all the trackers are back here. I did make myself a little Christmas challenge that I just you know, color off boxes as I put the money in there. Next up is our business binder. These are like our small business slash side hustle binder for both myself and my hubby. So I consider my YouTube as a side hustle. I don't really even have a full hustle, so maybe this should be considered my main hustle. But, um... I just consider it a little side thing that I do just to bring in a little extra income. And then my hubby also makes baskets um, out of wood. And he is actually in the process of doing a festival. He did it this past weekend and then he's doing it again this weekend. It's a big festival in North Georgia. So he's making money too. And um, so we needed a binder specifically for our little side hustle things that we've got going on. So for taxes, since I do get paid by YouTube, I have to put away money from that for taxes because they don't. Then I have my envelope, which is budget supplies, and that's because my side hustle is budgeting, as you can see. And then what I have inside here are tabs, again, for stickers, planners, equipment, office, and that way I have that divvied up and a little bit more detailed for my brain. It's very helpful for me. Then I have YouTube giveaway. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, when I do giveaways, I need to save for it. So this helps me make sure I save for that. Then I have support small businesses. I want to be able to support small businesses on Etsy, so I save up a little bit of money and then I go browse Etsy and I support some of those small businesses by purchasing some things from them. And then we have bills. This I put in with my YouTube paycheck 
usually if it's enough and I go ahead and pay off some of the bills that are specific to so like I use Cricut and then um, YouTube premium and then I can't remember the other thing I think it was three different bills that I try and pay with my YouTube paycheck and then I have my husband's this is his festivals um, Redemptive Timbers is the name of his little side hustle and I do have things in here for fees decorations for his baskets and when he's setting up at the festivals and then change so that's specific to the festivals that he's doing because you have to pay to enter into festivals too as you can see it's empty because he already took all the change and stuff out of here since he's in the middle of a festival right now and then for him he has his wood fund I absolutely loved making this envelope it's so cool that it actually turned out to look like wood I was a little worried but inside here we have wood and we have supplies so he of course has to buy the wood for his baskets and then supplies is like the glue um, tape anything that he needs to make his magic happen so that is it for our business binder I like to keep these a little bit separate just so that it you know makes sense to me so our sixth binder is my kids binder I love this binder so much this is for their things that I'm saving for them like birthdays so each of my kids have their own birthday envelope I do save about $500 so that will include the going out to eat that we do for their birthday a gift um, and then any extra that we have or if we go somewhere else some activity or whatever um, goes towards that and if there's any money left over I just give it to them so $500 is usually the goal I go for um, so each of them have that with that being said though all of these are their drawings this is I asked them to give me a drawing that I can put inside or on top of their envelope and these are the drawings that they gave me and I made it work and so one day maybe I will give these envelopes to them and they will have their old drawings from when they were younger it's so cute I love it and then same deal with their cars of course these are all their drawings as well um, but I have capped them at $1,000 a piece right now um, because it is just not high priority for me. We do have a couple of cars, so like I will probably get myself a car and then pass my car that's completely paid off down to probably my daughter, but nobody wants to drive and I don't know why. <laughs> they don't want to, although I think my middle child is going to get her license after she turns 18 um, that way she doesn't have to do the whole pre-license thing that they you have to do or whatever um, but yeah I don't know nobody seems interested in fully driving so I just put that on the back burner and of course they can always help fund their own car I don't need to buy them their full car I would like for them to be a little bit more responsible for themselves as well then we have kids savings this is also related to my children also all of these are their drawings here not this one of course but as you can see I have to save up for a grad party because my middle child is about to graduate I already did this once with my son and now I'm just reusing this to save up for my daughter and then I'll reuse it again to save up for my youngest so man all my kids are gonna graduate soon that just it's crazy then I have their graduation envelopes for each of them that's saving up for their graduation gift. I still owe my son maybe like less than $200 um, with every goal being $2,000. So yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Then I have their savings. It's a slow grow savings. Um, I try and put at least $5 every paycheck in there. If I can swing more, I will. But just a slow growth savings for them so that when they do move out or get on their own they'll have a little something to leave with and then regular savings this is for mine and my husband me and my hubby 
So this is our savings. I put about $20 a paycheck, every single paycheck in here, and just let it add up over time. Just saving, saving, saving something. If I can ever stand to put more in, I would. Then we have retirement. Again, trying to put a little something from each paycheck in there. That's not to be mistaken that this is our only retirement fund. We have several 401ks. We have several stocks. Um, so, yeah, we've got money in stocks and bonds and things like that. But this is just a little something extra. I figured we should also put our paychecks to good use. So, retirement. And then this is TK Toys. You don't ever usually get to see me fill this up, but you will soon because my hubby is doing the festival and he is saving up big time. He's already done just one weekend, that's two days, and he has made a lot of money. I, a lot, let's just say that. So you'll see me stuff this very soon because he is definitely saving up for his first big toy and uh, uh, any idea what it might be? And then we have anniversary. This is specifically for our 25th year anniversary. Every year we go on vacation during our anniversary. So that's our gift always to ourselves is going to some tropical location. So we go on vacation. We give ourselves that gift. We go on our anniversary so that we are down at the beach when we turn another year older as our uh, marriage but I wanted to save specifically something big for our 25th year anniversary so that's two years away give me a little time to save up for something I'm not sure what and then of course trackers and binder number nine this used to have a sticker I feel like I say this every single time it used to have a sticker that said reserves but this sticker doesn't want to stay, so I give up. I just gave up and just put it away. But this is my reserves binder, and um, this is just things that I'm reserving. It is a reserves. You know, it's something I put away, starting with our car maintenance. So for our cars, we, of course, need oil changes, tags, we also have a deductible in case something happened. Also have an emergency fund in case something happened. Um, so yeah, that's what this is for, to reserve money away for those instances where we need a little car maintenance or a little help. Then we also have health savings. We used to have a health savings card, but this year we decided to get rid of it. And so I'm just saving it as if it's a health savings card except it's all in cash. So I have medicine for around the house, health, this is just for whatever, co-pays, and then deductible. I do need to make another tab. I think I'm just gonna label it medical bills and put that there because we are paying quite a few medical bills currently from um, a stint with COVID and um, severe dehydration, things like that has cause quite a few medical bills. So I'm paying those every month. I need a tab to help me save specifically. So I'm not just pulling it out of all these tabs. That feels silly. Then we have home emergency. This is when something in the house goes wrong. Air conditioner breaks, refrigerator breaks, something in the house goes wrong. This is the emergency for that, the emergency fund for that. It's slow growing because we did have to use it. Thankfully we had it, um, but I still need to start rebuilding that more. Then we have bills advancement. We are one month ahead in our bills. So I have one month here and that is for October. So we are currently in October. October is fully funded. All of that money is in the bank. So all of this is prop, but it shows what I have saved for the month of October. And now we are working on November, which now that October is done, I probably should take these out, which I'll probably do later. And then put these in the one month in advance because it's October now. 
And then this is for being two months in advance, even though it's in the three month right now. So I'm constantly putting money into this to hopefully build up to what I need to be two months in advance. But you see what my goal is. <laughs> Dreams. Then we have a regular emergency fund. This has no label to it. It's just there. Um, if something were to happen, it's there. Then we have cost of living. I made this envelope um, when inflation started happening. Gas prices were super high. Grocery prices were high because of gas prices. Like it just was affecting us all, I think. And so I decided to make an extra envelope to where I could save up for those instances where I didn't have enough money for the groceries or gas and it was a backup plan and it's still still in use you know things are still pretty expensive and then we have vet bill this is just a reserves for any kind of vet trips that might unexpectedly come our way we've had that happen quite a few times so um, yeah saving for it is better than not saving for it and then of course we have all the trackers and then we have my savings challenge binder. I love this binder. These I did not draw. I actually used the Cricut for these. But I had, let me just show you. I had Pink E Cloth's saving money, money saving challenge book. And inside here she had the $2 savings challenge, the $5 savings challenge, 50, 50, um, 25 or 52 weeks, $1,000 money saving challenge was a $10 saving challenge and then she had she has quite a few different things in here as well um, but I ended up like clearing out my um, savings challenge at the half year point so I couldn't just like keep going with it I don't know so now I only do the $1 savings challenge. It says $2 because that's what it was supposed to, but of course you can replace it with $1. And then the $5 savings challenge. I don't do the 50, 50, and 52 week right now. I do the $10 savings challenge. And then I do my own, which is a 100 envelope challenge. I made this. So if I were to actually fill up all of these, it would total out to be almost $6,000, which is kind of cool. Um, don't know if I'll meet that at the end of the year, but I like trying. So that's it for my main binders. I do have those two extra binders, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but those aren't my main binders at all. First up, you have my daughter's. This is something I've been working on with her. She obviously loves Attack on Titan. So we put this together, um, this design and everything. It looks really, really cool. And then her envelopes, she is going with the Attack on Titan scenes. So it kind of looks like a little comic book effect. So she has her bird. She has her spending money. She has moving out. She has her savings. Going out. And gifts. That's the ones that she has so far. She does need to give me some more designs so that I can do the next few envelopes for her. So be staying tuned for that. I will be getting right back into her envelope and her binder soon. Then if you're new and you missed it, this is my vacation binder. This is what I use specifically for when we go on vacation. I have my little change person here, which I will attach to here when I need to. But this basically was the budget of what we were spending on vacation, the food, the fun, which is where we were staying, and the things that we were going to do there, and then the plan, which was different activities and ideas that we wanted to try. And then we had all of these, which I think I want to um, laminate these just so they don't bend too much anymore. But I had my gas, my dining, my groceries, my miscellaneous, my spending, and then anything other than those categories go there. So this really helped to the point that we actually saved money on vacation. I brought money home, <laughs> which is crazy. So that's about it. I have just done a full walkthrough of all of my binders. I know it's a lot. I know. 
but it works with my brain. Having an envelope for everything, I don't feel guilty pulling from something else. It just, this is what works for me. Now again, that doesn't work for everybody. You might be good with just one binder with a few main envelopes condensing them all together. You might be good with just a couple of binders with some envelopes. Um, but for me, I like it this way. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. It makes me feel less guilty pulling money for things because there's an envelope for that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this gave you guys some ideas. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did and subscribe if you're not subscribed. With that said, I will see you guys on Wednesday for our next WTF Wednesday video. Looking forward to it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on Wednesday. As always, until next time. Bye.